They say money is the root of all evil. Well, I say money is the fruit, and the root is in the consciousness of the people. And at this point, it's widespread, uncomplicated, and deceitful, more or less disrespectful. How the public is regarded as moronic, robbed at pinpoint, and still not questioned truth. It's the Novocaine syndrome, and that's the size to the lies even when it hits home. And it's no surprise the rich get richer, because when you see things from above, it's a whole different picture from dollars and cents to scripture. How can you ask the broke to bail the bank out that denied them the loan last week? No thanks, no rest for the weary, clearly. But let us glamorize as we advertise the unaffordable. How you downsize your jobs, consume like the system's waterproof. Here's some credit, because where you're headed, you need purchasing power. You can triple pay us back later. It's insurance. You never know the hour of need. It's this Janus face of greed. Help me help you help myself. Hedonistic cycle running on a belt. First chakra, two tints, start fucking up your health. Low grain, migraine, mixed with computer screen, eye strain. You're really too tired, but you got to play the game. And you keep drinking coffee because you think you heard the boss calling your name. And it'd be the third time, or perhaps the first. But you can't not not have a job, so no sleeping in at work. Smile it up, perk it out, even if it hurts. Get through the day, hit the bar, kill the thirst. Or any other coping mechanism. How you do anything is how you do everything. Caught in the rhythm. Add a few children, some more decisions, and there you are. The average American citizen, struggling to stay afloat. Mind too cluttered to know that it's a system, not you, that's clearly broke. Now, somewhere along the road to freedom, money went from a representation we were all convinced to believe in to the end-all be-all in a free market of giving and receiving. Before, a hunter could trade meat for grain, a baker bread for his needs, cobbler shoes, some traded deeds for deeds. It was a system of value, pride in one's work, because merit determined what something was worth. Not sack supplies, stored, manipulating demand, Little pieces of paper are praising the preciousness of man. It's idolization in its rawest context. And people ask how life can be bought. Well, it's a constant contest. Separation of empathy by way of objects. Now, do the objects serve the man or does man serve it? That's rhetorical because all our technical exploring proves that everything we do is in service of our truth. So why do we put things before people? Choking the tree of prosperity, killing its roots, human family made feeble. How do dollars make sense? Working for them, the average man's life is spent just to get to the end to realize that he's worked for rent. A few memories and a bucket list unfin, if he has a list at all. Then you become what you do, so you're stuck on a ball, but not the ball of your heart's content. Duped into making money that's already spent before you've seen it yet. Born into a business, the federal, with your own little piece of the debt. Social security card and a certificate to match. Before you're even walking, you're paying out the ass. This is a definition of freedom that we've all agreed upon. That in the name of liberty, we will collectively concede to cons. Hiding behind religion, matricidally praising the father, deluded by polling booths when the real vote is with the dollar. Now we can match wits and moralize about philosophy and ethics, but be a good person who's broke, it'll get you no credit, no, no options, no nothing, but primal dissatisfaction because all your basic impulse is to push back into the deepest, darkest places away from possibility. Disheartened, you turn to addiction, to squelch the hostility, rearing its ugly head at every turn. You see, money is connected to survival. So without it, survival squirms, struggles, forages, fears. 7.8 billion people vying for the precious. You see how we got here. In a world of too much, without enough going around, no dollar, no destiny, above ground. Yet you are rich. Thank you.
Where does choice begin? Where does the retardation of that process change us? What are the effects of having an impact system arrange us? Self, does it connect us or estrange us? <laughs>